Sanctuary Jungle. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I am going to showing you how to make a 30 volt suggestible rechargeable bench power supply. Guys, I already posted another two bench power supply project video on my channel. I will give the another two DIY bench power supply video link in the description. Okay guys this time we make a very simple and powerful power supply. This power supply is rechargeable. This power supply is adjustable and output is 30 volts. You will use all kind of projects in this power supply. And this power supply I added another two features. But this feature is very simple, but you didn't like this feature, you will try very simple method. This is the advanced version power supply circuit. This is the normal version circuit. First we will talk about the advanced version power supply. Advanced power supply come up with two more features. First feature is power monitoring. That feature is you will find out battery volt and power supply output volt on a voltmeter. This two feature you will press the push button to change. And third feature is continuity tester. Continuity test is the checking of an electric circuit to see if current flows. This is advanced version bench power supply. And the simple version. Simple version not come up with continuity tester and two-way battery monitoring feature. This the simple version power supply circuit. Okay guys in this power supply project I am using this 18650 battery. In this project we need 3 18650 battery and we need 3 SBMS module. In this power supply we will use DC to DC 150 watt step up boost converter module. This module I purchased on Amazon. I will give all components by link in the video description. This boost converter module allows you to step up an input voltage as low as 10 volt and set the output to 12 volt to 35 volt. The boost converter design is based on popular Texas Instruments UC3844 current mode PWM controller chip. This module would be the best choice if your project has 10 to 18 volt. Input while system board need 24 volt with big power. No need to debug easily to achieve high efficient high power voltage boosting. And this project we will use this CD4017 IC. This IC is used for a three different mode controlling. Yes guys the CD4017 IC is used as a three different modes. That is continuity testing mode, direct battery output mode and boost converter output mode. This three different modes you will change using a push button. And we use this buzzer. This buzzer is used for a continuity tester. And we will use this to female connectors. First one is used for a charging port. And second one is used for a power supply output port. This power supply I not me a used commercial electric banana plugs. And we use this push on off switch. But you will use any other on off switches. And here I use this rugged metal push button with ready LED ring. This switch is used for a mode changing. But you also use as a push button. And we also need this two relay switches. First relay switch is used for continuity mode and power supply mode. And second relay switch is used for battery power monitoring and boost converter output monitoring. And we use this dual LED display mini DC digital voltmeter and ammeter. And the project and clouser I am used this plastic box.
Guys, here I placed all components on this PCB board. Guys, I placed circuit board on this plastic end clouser. Power on off switch. Mode changing switch. Mode 1 continuity tester indicator. Mode 2 battery power monitoring indicator. Mode 3 boost converter power monitoring indicator. Potentiometer for power adjustable. Output connector. Voltmeter. Reset switch. Charger input. Guys now time to test. Connect the output. Testing purpose I am use this 12 volt DC motor. Red is positive and yellow is negative. Now you can see guys motor will operate it on 10 volt. Increase the output. Volt. Now I changed to continuity testing mode. Here I shorted this two terminals buzzer sound is generated. Now I changed the second mode. Second mode is battery monitoring. Now the voltmeter showing the direct battery output, volt. Now I changed the third mode. Now the voltmeter showing boost converter output, volt. This way to identify battery voltage and boost converter output voltage. First mode continuity mode. Second mode battery monitoring mode. Third mode for boost converter output monitoring mode. Okay guys now I explain this reset switch. Now you can see the output volt is 15, volt. I short the output terminals. Now the power supply is off. Now I turn off and on the power switch. But the power supply will not be on. Now I press the reset button little bit time. And I return a power on the switch it will be on. Charging this power supply you will use 12 volt 2 amp adapter. 